today I'll be making my own recipe of cheese filled bread rolls. So let's get started. Today I'll be using a mixer, a tray lined with baking paper, a sifter, a rolling pin, 100 grams of sugar, two eggs, some extra water, a kilogram of plain flour. I also have a cream cheese spread, about 500 grams jar. Most likely I'm not going to use it all. 50 grams of butter, a tablespoon of milk powder, a tablespoon of dry yeast, a good pinch of salt, some extra oil for later use, and a cookie cutter. First thing I do, I sift my flour. The cheese and the oil, I'll need them later. To the bowl, I'm going to add the butter, the milk powder, the dry yeast, the salt, the sugar. With the wet ingredients, my goal is to reach 600 ml. So I'm going to add the eggs. and add the water all the way to 600 ml. I'm going to use the dough hook. I'll mix on low and gradually add the liquid in. My flour is very well incorporated, so now I'm going to mix it on low for 4 more minutes. After 4 more minutes, the dough is ready. Every dough needs a warm place to rise. I put it in a smaller bowl. All I do now is cover it up and let it rise for an hour. My dough double in size, so now it's ready to work with it. I'll spread some oil on the table and get my dough on the table as well. And I roll the dough about half a centimeter thick. I put some oil on the cookie cutter, so it's not going to stick to the dough. Now I'm going to cut all this dough in these circles. Now I collect the extras. I'll put them aside for now. I put some of the cheese in a bowl to be easier to work with. I lightly beat an egg white. And just before I put the cheese, I'm going to seal the edges with egg white. Now I'm going to put a generous amount of cheese in a novel shape. I want to make sure that I don't touch the edges. Now I'm going to seal it. I press down very, very well. Now I'm going to roll it into a U shape and put it in the tray. And now I'm going to do the same with the rest.
I'm gonna make sure I leave about two centimeters between them. So when they rise, they're not gonna stick to each other. I press down very well to make sure the cheese is not coming out when cooking. Now I'm gonna let the rolls rise for another 20 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm making the second batch. I need the dough for about a minute to make sure it's very, very well combined. Spread some oil on the table and roll the dough about half a centimeter thick. I'll cut the circles. And I repeat the whole process. How big or small you want to make them, it's really up to you. I think this size is very cute and very handy for the little kids. And as for the last touch, I lightly beat one whole egg. And egg wash each of them. My oven is already preheated to 180 degrees, so I'm going to put in the first tray. Here it goes. After 20 minutes, they're golden, so they're ready. The next tray goes in for 20 minutes. It can be left in the tray to cool or even put it on a rack. The second tray is ready. This can be served hot with a cold glass of milk or you can let them cool down a little bit. My family likes them very hot with a cold glass of milk. In my house smells amazing and the kids can't wait to have some. And let's see inside. It's so fragile. Look at this cheese. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments below if you tried it. How did it go for you? I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you some other times. Bye.